at the most basic level, you can do a lot of manual work. There are plenty of sellers who are just doing a few items and they'll go post those and they deal with everything in email through the communications with the buyer. As you start to increase your volumes, that becomes really unwieldy and you need to have some kind of automated processing method that can programmatically move that information back and forth. Here we're going to run under an assumption that you're already at a volume level, that you want to go beyond just very basic methods, and you want to have some kind of integration between your own computer system, uh, whether that be a, a hosted online solution or a personal desktop computer uh, running an application, and the eBay software. We have four main methods of how we can get this information that I broke down. Um, they get progressively more complex and not everyone really needs to do all of these. So make sure that as we're going through, you compare what your software solution is with the options that we have here and which ones make sense. Um, it doesn't make sense for somebody who writes a desktop application to go and try to implement checkout redirect because it's not conducive to their model. So just because it's here and listed as an option that's available doesn't mean that you specifically should be trying to implement all of these. Make sure you analyze your specific situations. The first one is a simple data import method where you're going to use eBay or PayPal's checkout system and then just import that data after the fact into your own system. All of that information is processed directly on eBay or PayPal. You don't have to build a checkout solution. You get to use theirs and all of your information is taken care of and stored on their servers and you download it when it's uh, your choice to do so. You can do your own self-hosted checkout. You build a checkout system. You get to use your own business rules on how to do the processing of that checkout. If you have something specific that you would like to do, terms and conditions of the purchase, or something uh, unique that you would like to integrate. Maybe you have a different uh, business needs than the eBay checkout provides. You do have to re-engage that customer and bring them back to your checkout so you lose the through fluidity of the eBay checkout and they go ahead and pay and complete right at that moment. And you also have to design and implement your own checkout system. It may seem like a trivial task and there are plenty of pre-built solutions out there that you can do, but once you start to customize it for your specific business rules, it can become very challenging to build an efficient and useful checkout system. Moving on, you can also have that checkout system you've built be partially integrated or fully integrated with the eBay platform. If it's partially integrated, then somehow you are driving that user to a third party, your checkout, after the purchase happens. You probably have to go track them down afterwards, get them to come back and go to your checkout. But then, after you collect that information, you're doing some kind of programmatic communication between your systems and the eBay and or PayPal systems to keep your information up to date. If you're going all the way to a fully integrated solution, then from the buyer's perspective, they don't even realize often that they've left the eBay system and that they are moving completely in the flow from eBay through your system, potentially through PayPal to pay for the item and complete the entire purchase all in one nonstop flow. There are some definite technical complexities we'll get into in a minute involved in that, but it is uh, an interesting system that you can put together that allows the, the buyer to complete all the way through the purchase and use your customized checkout system. 